Whenever we're uh, multiplying, um, it doesn't matter if we're multiplying at, or multiplying and dividing. The main important thing you want to do first is always simplify. So it's very, very important for us to, again, to remember what exactly does this root represent. The root says what number multiplied by itself four times. Now, when we're dealing with roots of square root, when we're dealing with the square root and the cube root, I don't really like using factorization. Um, but when I have like the fourth root or the fifth root, I think it's sometimes easier to make sure that you factor out your number. So the best thing I think to do, is, even if you're not understanding anything, is create a factor tree for your number. So I have 16. I can do 4 times 4. I could break that down into 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So I can rewrite this as the fourth root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Right? Now, you could do the same thing for x to the eighth power, but to really try start avoiding ourselves, um, the main important thing I want you guys to understand is the fourth root says what number multiplied by itself four times. So we want to find that uh, we want to find the same number multiplied by itself four times. We can either write it out like I did with the twos, or if I wrote something out four multiplied by itself four times, that's the same thing as raising it to the fourth power, right? So I could rewrite x to the eighth power as x to the fourth times x to the fourth times the fourth root of x to the fourth. Now, when I'm taking the fourth root, when I'm taking the fourth root of 2 times 2 times 2, that's just going to equal 2. The fourth root of x to the fourth is just x. The fourth root of x to the fourth is just x. And the fourth root of x to the fourth, again, is just x. So my final answer is 2x cubed. Yes? Oh, 14. Thank you. I didn't even like see that. So if I was going to do x to the 14th to be represented that way, it would be 4, 8, 12, 14, right? So this would actually be, um, so I have two x's here. This would be x times x times x times the fourth root of x squared, right? So I actually have x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, fifth power times the fourth root of x squared, OK?